Hello dear viewer. Privyet. Hello in Ukraine. Privyet. This video will be about false friends in Ukrainian and in English. First of all, um, let's describe what the term false friends mean. So this term means that there are um, words that have similar looking or similar sounding in other languages, but they have different meanings. So there are a set of words that have similar looking or similar sounding uh, in English and in Ukrainian. So um, I will mention uh, some of the most common false friends in Ukrainian and in English. Let's take the word magazine and magazine. Mahazin in Ukrainian, you can translate it as a shop or a store in English. Mahazin, that means a shop or a store. So this Ukrainian word means that in English. But the English word magazine, uh, that can be translated as journal in Ukrainian. So, uh, they have quite different meanings, don't they? Magazine means a shop or a store, and the English word magazine is a journal. Then, another example. City or city. City. So, uh, the Ukrainian word city means full or fed up city so you can use that uh, word uh, if you want to say that you are full you have eaten uh, much food uh, you can say ya city ya city that means i am full ya city uh, but Obviously, uh, the English word city, uh, we all know what it means. Um, so, uh, you know, you can think of, for example, city of Kyiv. Uh, but in Ukrainian, you need to say, Misto Kyiv. Misto Kyiv. That means city of Kyiv. Misto Kyiv. City of Kyiv. Then another example, the word son in Ukrainian means a sleep or a dream. Son, but uh, the English word son can be translated as sin in Ukrainian. So they have quite different meanings. Then let's take uh, these two words, king in Ukrainian and the English word keen keen uh, versus keen so um, keen that Ukrainian word can be translated as a horse into English but the English word keen that can be translated as Postry or pronizlivy. Hostry or pronizlivy in um, into Ukrainian. So quite different meanings um, as you can see. Then let's look at this word Roman. Roman um, it has two meanings uh, in English a novel and a fair uh, romance so um, if you think of a novel Jane Eyre uh, we don't need romance 
for example, you can think of. Uh, but um, uh, if we take uh, this meaning, an affair, a romance, slush, uh, roman, an office romance. But the English um, word roman actually can be translated as um, rimsky into Ukrainian. And this is an adjective relating to ancient Rome or its empire. Rimsky. It's an adjective and it's uh, relating to the ancient Rome or its empire. And Rimian is a citizen of the ancient Roman Empire. So the word Roman it means quite different in English and in Ukrainian. Another example uh, comes next. Akuratni versus accurate. So, um, ak akuratni in Ukrainian, this word uh, can be translated as tidy or neat into English. So the Ukrainian word akuratni uh, means tidy or neat. For example, mati akuratni vigliad to have a tidy look. To have a tidy look. But the word, the English word accurate that means um, pravil, pravilni or tochni, if we translate it into Ukrainian. So the English word translated into Ukrainian has quite different meaning. So accurate, like exact or correct, pravilni or tochni. So anyway, uh, that was it uh, for today and um, uh, I think uh, there are uh, many things to learn so um, we should all keep learning. So thank you for watching this video and I hope that you are all well. Uh, take care and have a nice day. Goodbye.